So I had a popular paddleboard company send me one of their premium top tier paddle boards almost a year ago. And they also sent me two other boards at the same time, two lower tier boards. Well, after using that premium board, I think one or two times, it blew out on me. Now, after many, many months, they have asked me to destroy it. So I did, all the while slowly realizing that I might have made a mistake. Now here's my story. So this popular company is iRocker. They sent me three boards to film a video with, and I did, and the video went well. Well, of course, me being a lover of paddle boards and a lover of the water, I was gonna put these paddle boards to good use, and I knew that. So I took the mid-range board out on a four-day adventure with me, had a great time. It paddled fantastically, of course, as I expected it to. And it's probably my favorite board because of the colors, it's just totally beautiful. I just loved how the colors popped, it was great. So whenever I got home with the board and I was washing it, my board, like I always wash my gear when I get home, I noticed that some of the D-ring attachment points were kind of peeling up. Uh-oh, <laughs> not a good sign for a brand new board. So I reached out to the kind people I'd been working with over at iRocker and I told them of this little issue. Well, they offered immediately to send me out a new board. And I said, you know what, it's not a big deal. I'll just keep it. But I did ask, hey, uh, is this like an isolated issue or are you guys seeing this in like a lot of your boards? I believe that they said that this was happening in a few other instances, but nothing major. Now, mind you, this was the height of COVID. And as we know, most all boards are made in Asia and most of them are made in China. Now, believe it or not, even the same brands in the same factories. Yes, for real. Like I have seen photos that have been sent to me by some of the factories over there of the same brands sitting beside each other in the warehouse waiting to get put on a shipping container to be shipped off. But I can't share that with you because that's a handy little inside source that I enjoy having and I'd rather not burn that bridge. Anyways, during COVID, a lot of the factories were, of course, facing staffing issues and all kind of other issues that were probably making the quality control a little uh, out of control, right? <laughs> I learned this firsthand by talking on the phone with the owner slash CEO of iRocker and he confirmed this and I also learned a lot of other cool things. I mean, totally nice guy. So in the end, I figured this mistake was just a small one. You know, it just happened in this tough times with production and it was just a small isolated issue. <laughs> So then on my next couple of ad adventures, I took the more premium board with me, right? I took the black fin with me. And of course it performed well in the water just like I knew it would because I have owned a black fin for quite some time and I love it. After getting home from the second adventure, I go to wash my board just like I always do. <laughs> and I lean it up against the fence, right? Then I go to grab some cleaning supplies and I come back and uh, she's limp. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> this is not good. So I go over there and expect like, what did I do to my board? And I'm, then I realized that I didn't do anything. I leaned it very carefully against the fence and the grass, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it just had some sort of a failure. Oh yeah, something happened to one of my paddle boards yesterday and I, I don't know what to do about it. Here's my trusty old black fin I put through the paces, a lot of paces. Here's my new black fin. It was sitting out in the yard yesterday waiting to get washed. And uh, walked back up and she was flat. Hmm, it's a little strange, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, it sucks. So then all kind of scary thoughts start running through my head. Oh my goodness, are all their boards lemons? Have I been promoting this brand that has been building awesome, tough boards and now they're building this? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna explain this? You know, what about my reputation? <laughs> then I went silent which may not have been the best decision, but I didn't want to inform my audience because, okay, this may not be just a worldwide issue, right? I didn't want to mention it to iRocker because it's kind of embarrassing. That's would have kind of been an awkward conversation. Yeah, probably not the best decision now looking back at it, but at the time, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Most of you know that I've been promoting iRocker and Blackfin boards for years. I mean, this is my original one that I got back in 2018. And I put this thing through the ringer, through the freaking gauntlet. You guys have seen it in my videos. And this thing has stayed pumped up in my shop 2018. What's that, four years? And it's only been deflated like twice. And that was only just for a short while. So most of the time it has spent its life right here in my shop, inflated to full PSI and look at her. She's tough as nails. I have a lot of faith in this board. I knew that my audience had been buying a lot of boards from iRocker because of my recommendations. 
I knew that they would continue to buy boards from iRocker because of my recommendations, but I didn't know what to do. So I laid in silence doing some incognito research. I was watching Facebook groups closely, like the iRocker owners Facebook group, right? I was contacting some of my friends and my audience members who had said, hey Trip, thanks for recommending this Blackfin or this iRocker. I appreciate it so much, we love the board. And I'm thinking, oh God. <laughs> and I was actually keeping track of these conversations. You know, a few months later, I'd follow up with these people. Hey, how's it going? How's your board? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, thinking, has it blown out on you yet? And what do you know? I don't recall anyone having an issue. At least it wasn't widespread. Like, so right now thinking about it, you know, I can't, I mean, there probably was a couple that I had heard about, you know, just through the grapevine, but it just wasn't a you know common problem. And you know what? I still haven't heard of any chronic issues from their boards. I was surprised and very relieved, but I still wasn't super confident in the brand. Fast forward just a couple weeks ago, I got an email from iRocker stating they were having a recall on Blackfin boards. <laughs> Turns out there was a small number of Blackfin boards that were manufactured during a certain serial number sequence that were having the exact same issue that I had. Luckily, I hadn't thrown my board out, so I ran out to my shop and I checked the serial number and yep, what do you know, mine fell within that range. Happy to have found all this out, I went through the recall process and one of the steps is you must destroy the board in a certain manner and send them a photo of the destroyed board. And so that is exactly what I did. You know, the board's already destroyed and not repairable in my opinion. And it was pretty cool to get to look inside this thing and see just how it's made. Now I'm waiting for my new board to arrive and put it to good use and restore my confidence in the brand, which kind of pretty much has already been restored, especially because of all the good things that I've heard in my extensive incognito research. <laughs> I hope you folks and the folks over at iRocker understand my situation and how I wanted to be careful about how I handled it. There was no need to drag anyone under the bus and there's no need to keep promoting a product that I wasn't sure about and confident in. I do have some integrity. <laughs> so what are my current thoughts on ISUPs? Well, I just checked out iRocker's website and prices are lower than ever. And that is kind of for around the board for different brands. Prices are coming down, which is a great thing for consumers. And I have been watching iRocker. They have a new line of boards that fold up even more compact than this and store better in a smaller bag. And I need one of those for the boat. That would be a cool thing. But if I was gonna tell anyone on how to buy a paddleboard, I would say buy the best one you can afford and the one that is the most beautiful to you. Anyways, more updates to come when they come. Get out there, God bless. I'll see you on the next video, all right? Love ya. Yo, uh, your board's, uh, well, it's kind of falling apart on me, bro. <laughs> Yo, uh, yeah, your board's, uh, kind of falling apart on me, bro. <laughs> Yo, uh, your board's, uh, yo, uh, your board's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of falling apart on me, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>